Hello my friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Dana. I am a single mom on an extremely tight budget and I'm trying to make stuff work. <laughs> so today is going to be a short video and it is going to be my cash stuffing and um, my budget all in one because I, I didn't get paid. <laughs> I got paid so little. Um, hours are, are finally starting to pick up, which is good, but it's not it's not that good. So um, today I'm just going to go ahead and show you my paycheck one. This one right here includes my rent, which is where all of my money, it feels like, is going to. Um, as of right now, I'm still um, waiting to hear if I get approved for like food stamps and... Um, still applying for jobs and stuff um i was offered one but it was less money and less hours than i make now and because it is a pharmacy tech job unfortunately um it was just easier to stay where i am because you can't work for two different places like i can't work for a hospital and cvs or cvs and walgreens or you know a supermarket like stop and shop and uh, walgreens like it's considered like working for the competition I guess and so if they don't pay me more than I make now I basically have to stay where I am especially when the hours are less because they only wanted Fridays and then they were like well it's part time so um with Friday you're gonna basically be <laughs> be giving like some shifts and you can cover people and you also have to work holidays and I'm like so basically, I'm just here to work your Friday and your Christmas because no one else wants to work it. I'm good. I'll pass. So, um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's still where I am. But I still have a job, and that is awesome, you know, because God only knows what's going to happen from minute to minute with this crazy world. Um, so, let me go ahead and just let you know that I got paid. I can't even find my paper. But basically, I know where everything is, um, or how much everything is. So I got paid. It was six hundred and thirty-one dollars. Just gonna put that up there, okay? So just diving right into this. Just bring it down just a little. There you go. All right. So my rent is four hundred and eighty dollars. Right. And now I'm hitting this. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, my parking fee is going to be $25. I have to pay my Amazon that comes out regardless if I want to pay it or not. That is $7. My bank fee is $7. And again, I have to pay this regardless if I want to or not. So, <laughs> it is getting paid. Um, my sinking funds, which I always make a priority is twenty dollars um bus for my kids is going to be ten dollars now a lot of this time or a lot of time i actually put um the money like i shouldn't really say this but i kind of like keep it in my car because it's only ten dollars but because my kids take the bus every day um it's two dollars each kid each way a lot of times because of the way that my schedule has been my kids are walking to my job which is really good so I only have one child getting on the bus going to meet um, the other child and then they get on um, or I shouldn't say they get on sorry I'm like trying to move this Hold on. There you go, maybe this will work a little bit better. But it's basically, um, the kids meet each other and then they walk to my job. And then because I get out at the latest 7 o'clock, they just hang out in my break room, do homework, stuff like that, until, um, until I'm out. And then my food budget was $80. Because that's literally all I had left. <laughs> because I am poor. Oh, it's fun. It is fun. So let's total all of my my poor little income up. So I have six thirty one. Take away four eighty. Twenty five. Eighty. Twenty. 
10, 7, and 7. I did this wrong because it doesn't like to add certain things since my son dropped my phone and broke it. Um, but I do have a balance of $2 left. This most likely is just going to sit in, in the bank. <laughs> um, if I desperately need it for the kids, um, I'll take it out. But as of right now, I don't know what's going on. Um, as of right now, it's $2 is my remainder. I'm just going to... Ooh, I'm just going to move everything around. I'm just going to put remainder $2. It looks really weird, I know. It's because I'm writing at an angle because my, uh, <laughs> my chesticles keep hitting the, the stick thing. <laughs> Very intelligent when it comes to words. So proud of myself. Um... But I went to the store already and I did spend this $80, so I'm not going to be stuffing that. Um, and then everything else is basically, yeah, basically they're coming out or it is in my finger bones. So, you put that aside so I can get my envelopes. Okay guys, so I said envelopes, but to be honest with you, I'm just going to be using um, binders because, let's bring this up, um, because the envelopes, I don't really have anything to put in it except for my bank fee, so I'm just going to put this one in my credit card um, one because the credit card has to go to the bank anyway, it's the same one, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So with my binders which are a hot mess because all I do is budget everything you are going to be <laughs> seeing that I have been using a lot a lot of uh, money so like everything seems like it's empty right now which, which is not good and I hate that I, I want my <laughs> look at my four piles but I wish that I I had like the money that I had, but these sinking funds, I'm telling you, are saving my life right now. They're just saving my life. So don't ever sleep on sinking funds and don't ever sleep on a dollar because oh, sometimes that's all you got is a dollar. So as of right now, I'm just going to be putting one dollar into my house because God only knows, right? Um, church is going to be getting one dollar. Use the money that was in there already and give it to my church. Um, giving is going to get one dollar. So those had one dollar. This one has twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a no, thirty one. <laughs> Let's do it again. So twenty, twenty one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 31. So I have 31. And giving. Still got that goal. But um, the bus is going to be getting 10. Oh, actually, you know what? That's already in my car. This was deplete my whole entire thing. But I do have some money still in here. I think it's like $4. One, two, three, yep. So I have four dollars in there. Laundry is not getting anything. My son is not getting anything. My daughter is not getting anything. This one has money in it. It's because we went to Salem. I stayed within my budget. I was so proud of myself that we were able to do that. I did not think. Can you look at my, my awesome bank? I'm so proud of myself for staying within budget. Like, I really did not think that I was going to. So, I'm going to just stick that in there. Family's not getting anything. Spending's not getting anything. Eating out. That's nothing. It's not getting anything. Food, which is my backup, is not getting anything because I just spent all that money. <laughs> $80. Um, meds 
and it's empty because I have to buy my meds. I have, um, the doctor did put me on some kind of, like, some medication and stuff, um, which is good. And I've been going to the doctor regularly. Um, I still have to go see a cardiologist. I need to take a stress test. But as of right now, I'm still waiting for them to contact me, unfortunately. But my doctor is a really good doctor, and so, um... Like, I go back and forth one moment. I'm like, I can't stand her. And the next minute, I'm like, but I really like her. <laughs> I'm so bipolar. Um, but she is, like, kind of walking me through everything. Um, it's just one day at a time. I'm not having any more chest pains. Like, I did end up in the hospital again. Um, and they told me that I was not having a heart attack. They um, put in a referral as well with um, their partners or the people associated with their hospital um so that way I could like kind of get in there a little bit quicker I'm still waiting on that for them to call me back but as of right now everything is for the most part it's good it's just watching what I eat trying to stay healthy um like walking a little bit more trying not to be stressed out um not holding everything inside <laughs> so I'm kind of like I'm not rude to people <laughs> Because I, I can never be rude, but I'm, like, unapologetic, like, when people try to come and yell at me at work, and I'm just sitting there, like, I don't have time to deal with this, so you need to leave. And I just, like, say it as politely as possible while they're trying to scream at me, and then if they do not get the hint, then I walk away. Like, I just walk away, because I'm not going to continue to stress myself out over people. And so, people, like, when you work in customer service, like, people are nasty. And it doesn't even matter, like, you could work at McDonald's, you could work at Walmart, you could work, you know, sometimes even, like, receptionists at medical offices, like, they get that a lot. It just sucks, like, when you work with people, not all people are nice. So, I feel like a lot of my stress comes from that, because I'm... I'm not really a people pleaser, but I want to do my job and I want to help people. And so when I feel like I'm not doing enough, I take on a lot of stress. But now I'm just like, I'm not allowing people to treat me like crap right now because then I stress out about it and my anxiety goes. And then I'm like, I'm not going to have a heart attack because some guy refused to get his pills the next day when his insurance would pay for it. So, um, yeah. But I am taking meds, doing everything. I'm trying to um, fix my Medicaid situation. For some reason, I have Medicaid. Everything is going through except for prescription. For some reason, my prescription medications are not covered, and I'm not sure why. It's not like a prior authorization, nothing like that. It just keeps saying that I have different insurance. So, again, it's something that I'm working on. And then hopefully I won't even need this anymore, except to buy, like, maybe the baby aspirin that I have to take. Uh, my credit card is going to be getting that $7. And then <laughs> this one, my next cash stuffing, is probably going to be a lot because um, what I didn't show you was the bottom of that paper. Is that $7? Um, the bottom of the, pap the paper on my budget, right? I've allowed myself only because I you can't pull money out of not having money, you know? And so instead of going into my sinking funds continuously, what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm just going to allow myself to spend no more than $100, and this includes gas for two weeks, any kind of food that comes up, um, my cat food. I'm going to try to take it from their budget um, or their sinking fund envelope, but because I have been spending, you know, from that envelope I feel like it, it doesn't have as much as it should have and so um like when I'm at the store or whatever and I know that they need food like I'm not gonna starve my my animals like they're my babies they need litter boxes and you know decent everyday things <laughs> so they don't need new collars or anything like that but um they they definitely need a couple things so i'm just gonna put that on my credit card i'm gonna put the house on my credit card now i do not condone this i do not think that anybody should be doing what i'm doing i'm doing this because i have to survive and i know that my next paycheck i don't have a 480 dollar you know expense and so the most expensive thing i think will probably be my um what is it called my internet my internet is about hundred and ten dollars yeah it's a hundred and ten dollars every month and so knowing that 
I'll have enough to do everything and then put this hundred dollars back. So I'm just borrowing the hundred dollars right now from myself. It's not good practice, but when you got no money, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna put this over there. And then I'm not gonna pay this one. And then these are just my cards. Memory cards. I take so many notes, it's ridiculous. Like that's what I should do. It's just like go write for a paper or something. Like that's all I ever do is write. Um, my emergency fund is sad. <laughs> it's so sad, guys. So my emergency fund, I'm gonna be putting. I'm gonna put two dollars in there. So I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So I have 120 when I almost had like. 300 or something at one point but that is what I have right now <sighs> hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> um my car I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be putting in a I'm gonna put in two dollars in there just because it's completely empty and I hate that it's my dollars my laptop it's not going to get anything. My fur babies. I'm actually going to give them $2. So this is a little bit different. I try to do a dollar each um, envelope that isn't getting anything. But today I'm putting in two for most. Only because they're, they're kind of really depleted. But look, they have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. So this is like, <laughs> a lot of it is gone. And I feel bad. Okay, so taxes is not getting anything. That's not getting anything. That's not getting anything. Uh, money down is going to just get $1. So, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So one hundred and sixty-four dollars. I'm money down, and that is if I I wanted to go toward like buying a house, but maybe it's just moving out of the ghetto. <laughs> That'd be nice. Um, license is not gonna get anything. Bills is definitely getting something. So I'm gonna put in a dollar in this one. You know what? I'm kind of like at the end. I'm going to put in two. So I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 in bills. And that's just my backup in case I can't afford to pay something. And you know what? Like... As long as your bills are paid and you got food in your fridge, like, you're good. So, for hair, hair is not going to get anything. Birthday is going to be getting one. And that is because, um, my daughter's birthday is coming up, guys. It is coming up in about three weeks. It's crazy. Um, uh, my kids, how much money do I have? I'm going to give my kids a dollar each. So this is for clothes and stuff like that. I'm gonna put this in there. Open the dollar. I got two dollars. So they each got one dollar. I'm not gonna get anything. Vacation is not gonna get anything. Um, I do have actually quite a bit of money in here. Um, yeah, I have quite a bit of money in here i i still want to go on this vacation i haven't bought like the plane tickets or nothing i'm waiting for the doctor to tell me what to do so if the doctor is like okay go ahead go on this vacation just take it you know um easy then i'm 100 percent gonna go if not then i don't know <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna cry every night i'm just gonna post pictures of myself crying depression mood because this vacation, I was swimming with dolphins. Like, I bought the tickets. They were on sale. It was a dream come true for three people to go to Discovery Cove. It was, like, 500 bucks. 
and it was just it's I've never seen it that cheap I've never seen like the discounts and I was finally getting to swim with dolphins so fingers crossed please 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 pray for me that I get to go because all I want to do is get up like away from my job and go on vacation and I know I'm poor and I should be using all of this money for other things but like I said my rent is paid and everything is paid and I'm a big child and I'm unresponsible irresponsible because I'm responsible is not a word <laughs> um but but I'm hoping fingers crossed just waiting on the doctor um but I have a lot guys I think I have like almost two grand in here and I'm just I'm doing everything in my power to not spend it so <sighs> all right let me just count this real quick so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it's one thousand one two three four five six seven what is this six seven eight eight ten, ten. nine 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 78, 9, and 90. I think that was right. So I have 9, 1,990 So that's a lot. And I saved all of this this year. And I still have some in the bank. Not a lot. I did actually take a lot out of this one. I had like $1,000. And I've just been making sure that none of my bills are behind. Like I actually got good with everything. I was so proud of myself. And then I was so bummed. Because I spent all of this. Which means that I had to reach out to my travel agent. And try to cancel my cruise again. For the fourth year in a row. <laughs> My, my like cruise lady, she's gonna hate me. <laughs> she's gonna be like, every year, like, I'm just gonna give you your money back and then you decide when you wanna go and you show up. Like, <laughs> um, but fingers crossed, I'm really hoping. Like I said, I, um, I've read a lot of your comments and I am so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for caring because sometimes, like, I have friends that I swear they don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> like that I was going through stuff so I'm so thankful and grateful for you guys um and all of your advice and I took like I've seen a lot of you guys was like you should take some of that money and you should pay down your bills and um, that is what I did with Disney so I am caught up now with all of my bills all of my bills are caught up yay fingers crossed the stays that way um so I am good. Whatever is in here is all I have because I have no more money in the bank. But like I said, my f my bills are paid. There's food in my fridge and my kids are good. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm not even... I could count this, I guess. Because this is all I have left. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's 200. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80... 580 no 90 <laughs> I'm bad at counting 95 100 5 10 15 okay I don't remember how much that was so <laughs> let's do it again um, 2 4 6 8 10 so that's 100 315 so $315 is all I have. I needed $1,300 to pay off the cruise. So now I just need $1,000 and I'll be good. Um, Christmas is going to be getting $1. No, sorry. So I have 120, 30, and 31. So 131 in Christmas. Holidays is going to be getting. How much money do I have? Three. Oh, look at that. I have $3 left. So 
So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven dollars for holidays for Thanksgiving. I'm actually going down to New Jersey to meet up with my family. Um so they get to see my kids for like the first time in forever. Like near death experiences, like it makes it brings people together. So <laughs> if you like if you want to see somebody you just like almost lose your life and then you panic and reach out to people you haven't talked to and you swore out of your life long ago so I like joke I'm sorry I know it's not funny but um that's how I I mask everything with humor so I'm a hot mess I understand that but I am going down to New Jersey to see my family for the first time in forever and I don't know how that's gonna go but it's gonna go I'm going to put $1 toward Halloween, which is 10, 20, 35, and 36. My, um, my kids, they actually don't want to go trick-or-treating. They don't want costumes. They don't want nothing. So we're probably just going to go out and buy, like, a movie and then watch some scary movies here. And then we are going to get um, candy and we're going to donate it to the church because the church is having trunk or treat. And so I think that would be, like, kind of cool to just help out the church. And then the next one is just going to be high school. This is for my daughter, so she's going to get this extra one. So there's five, six, seven, and eight. So eight dollars in high school. So now I don't even know what she could buy with eight dollars, but <laughs> I don't think they're having a homecoming because it's literally October and they have not mentioned that and that's usually when homecoming is. So that is there. This is here. This one is here. And here is my budget guys. Alright guys, it was a very, very, very quick video. I understand. It's probably still pretty long because I talk and ramble forever. But that's why you love me. And that's why you're going to like this video. And that is why you're going to stay around. Subscribe. See you next time. <laughs> um, I get paid in two weeks. So there's probably going to be that video up. And then after that, there's going to be another... I want to say another video because I got paid on like... I don't even know. The 11th? I don't know. <laughs> I just know that I have two more paychecks this month and then next month. So the next month falls on, or November, it falls like right before my, um, my rent is due. We're on the day that my rent is due. So my last paycheck this month is just going to be like all keeping track and budgeting and trying to beef up my sinking funds a little bit and trying to figure out what's going on with that. But, as of right now, guys, this is my October paycheck, number one, my budget, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you guys have given me. You don't even understand um, everything that you guys do for me, and I'm so grateful for this community and for you guys, and just thank you. I hope that you guys have a great day, okay? Bye.